Being on a weight loss and fitness journey for the past two and a half years has taught me a lot of things. And everything that I've learned, I've been able to apply to all aspects of my life, not just weight loss. Like I've been able to apply it to running my business, my mental health, literally everything. One of the biggest things I learned while losing weight was discipline. And I'm not gonna lie, before I started my weight loss journey, I didn't have discipline. If I didn't feel like doing something, trust and believe, I just was not gonna do it. But it wasn't until I started losing weight and having to learn how to be patient, having to learn how to be consistent, all those things <laughs> that go into losing weight is when I truly developed discipline. Today was a struggle for me going to work out. And y'all know I love the gym. If I could live there, I would. <laughs> like, I wish they could I wish I could rent a bed and just be at the gym. But I can't. <laughs> and even though I love weightlifting, some days I just don't feel like it. And yet I still go. And today was definitely one of those days. I think it had a lot to do with the fact I'm on my cycle. And ladies, you and I both know some days when we're on our cycle, it's just, it's just like blah. <laughs> it really is just like blah, like the cramps, the fatigue, sometimes you're irritable. Like it's just not the best time of the month, right? But I still showed up and I still did what I needed to do. And if you want to be disciplined or develop discipline, then I have some tips for you that will definitely help you get there. Now, let's be clear. At the end of the day, you have to listen to your body. Okay, you know your body more than anyone. And if something truly doesn't feel right, then you just shouldn't do it. You should take a day off. I was able to determine that it wasn't really my body that was telling me I couldn't do it. It was just more or less me kind of feeling lazy and just not feeling like my motivated self. And because that was the reason as to why I wasn't feeling motivated today to work out, I still chose to work out. Now, if something was hurting, like if my back was hurting or my knee was hurting or ankle, whatever, then I would have taken today off. But that's not what was going on. I was just struggling with mentally wanting to come to the gym. So one of the first things that I can tell you when it comes to developing discipline is you have to set clear goals like what is it that you're trying to accomplish and since we're talking about weight loss for me I wanted to live a healthy lifestyle I told you guys before I was pre-diabetic I had high blood pressure I had high cholesterol my joints were always 
excuse me, my joints were always aching. <laughs> I was breathing very heavily. I was just getting fatigued doing the simplest things like walking up one flight of stairs and it literally just taking the wind out of me. And to only be in my 20s feeling like this, like I didn't, I didn't want to do that anymore. So that's why I knew I needed to lose weight because I just knew it was only going to get worse from there because I'm going to be getting older, I'll be getting bigger, right? So I knew, okay, Jazz, it is time to lose weight. And since I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, I had a goal in place. I need to lose weight. So by having that goal, it helped me stay focused on what I needed to do. you have to learn how to be consistent and that's with anything that you do you guys if you don't know how to show up every single day then you can learn but if you're not willing to learn how to show up every single day you're not going to get the results that you're looking for there's not one day that goes by where i don't do something towards my weight loss goal something right so what does that mean i'm either well i always drink water i don't drink anything but water but i'm always drinking water prioritizing my sleep being active eating clean now maybe i have a day where i don't eat as clean as i should okay but i still drink water i still prioritize my sleep i still was active there's not one day that goes by where i'm not doing two of those things off of that list that's being consistent if you only prioritize your sleep be active eat clean and drink water once every 10 days that's not being consistent and then you're wondering well why am i not losing weight you're not losing weight because you're not being consistent you're not showing up for yourself every single day and it's hard at first like i'm never going to sit here and tell you that it's easy losing weight was by far the hardest thing i've ever done in my entire life because you have to make the right decision more often than not and if you aren't making the right decision regularly not perfectly but regularly then you're not gonna lose the weight that you wanna lose. So by learning how to be consistent, even when you don't feel like it, that's the thing. You have to be consistent even when you don't feel like it. So once you start doing that, you will start to get your results. And by being consistent every single day, showing up for yourself, you are developing more and more discipline.
You have to learn how to eliminate distractions. And for a lot of us, that's extremely hard. I lived a very distracted lifestyle before I started losing weight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was worried about everything but Jasmine, from celebrity gossip to drama with friends to co-worker drama when I had a job to Netflix movies and series to watching the news to hanging out with friends like the list goes on of just distractions and what I classify as a distraction is anything that's not adding value anything that's not teaching me something anything that's not helping me be better in life whether that's physically emotionally spiritually anything and when you look at it like that you'll realize you have a lot of distractions and the hardest part about growth and self-development is removing the distractions and sure maybe you can't remove all of them but you more than likely can remove most of them when you are not distracted when you are focused it is so much easier to show up for yourself because you have nothing else getting in the way of you taking care of yourself if all your friends want to do is go out for a happy hour and you're trying to lose weight why would you be going to happy hour all the time sometimes you have to say no i'm going to sit this one out you can drink but just remember that when you're drinking you are slowing down your progress you're stagnating your operation <laughs> seriously you are so especially when you're first starting it's probably going to be in your best interest to just not go because you are trying to create new habits and create a new routine if you are someone like how i was that just always ate like crap you're kind of setting yourself up for failure by being at a table where everyone's eating crappy food. So why do that to yourself? It's kind of like if someone is trying to get off of drugs, they wouldn't go hang out with people who are still doing drugs, right? That's not going to help them be clean. The same applies when it comes to food or just to anything that you're trying to do to be better. Sometimes you just have to sit this one out because your goals and your dreams are just so much more important than a few minutes of fun so learn how to remove the distractions especially when it comes to social media you guys i don't follow any accounts that's not teaching me something that's not motivating me that's not inspiring me and that's not educating me i don't follow the shade room what are they teaching me nothing i don't care about celebrity drama that's not helping me be better that's not teaching me how to eat more clean or anything like that so you have to do an audit of your life and if you want this as bad as you say you do then you're going to make the sacrifices and remove the distractions so you can stay focused And the last thing I can say when it comes to developing discipline is just understanding that it's going to be hard. Anything worth having is hard. If it wasn't hard, everybody would be a healthy weight. Everybody would be in shape. Everybody would 
be rich if you're trying to start a business like everybody would have these things if it wasn't hard but it's hard so a lot of people don't have these things there are a lot of people who are overweight who aren't in shape because making these changes to your life is extremely hard and so I just want to remind you don't go into it thinking that it's going to be easy it may start off easy because you're super fired up you're motivated you're ready you're you're just you're ready you're ready <laughs> but I'm telling you give it a month or two or three or four and you're going to realize how hard it is now I'm not sitting here saying that you can't do it you definitely can do it you can do anything you put your mind to but I just want to remind you to embrace discomfort. Just push through. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it too. Okay. But just understand that when something is hard, that means you're growing and losing weight is not just about losing weight. It's about developing and just growing. <laughs>